celebrating survival and raising money to continue the fight. Good evening, I'm Deanna Giles. The Jackson community gathered for its annual Relay for Life walk at Cascade Falls Park. News 10's Riley Connell was there earlier today talking with people impacted by cancer. I attended my first relay in 1996 and it was a way that I could kind of have some closure. It was a way I could give back to the community. Another year of counting miles to cut out cancer. Relay for Life teams in Jackson County are here to lift survivors up and raise funds to continue the fight. It's the relationships made at Relay that helped cancer survivor Linda Kossel. It's so important that you have people around you and people that help you and people who come to your house when no one else can and do your laundry for you when you can't get out of your chair. Relay for Life isn't dedicated to only one type of illness. The money raised by relay teams will be used to find a cure for all cancers. This flag you see in front of you right here is very dear to us because it talks about Agent Orange. Including those that mainly impact the veteran community. A large percentage of the veterans have cancer because of the toxins in Agent Orange that were used over in Vietnam. Just as all cancers don't look the same, neither do their survivors. Some have just begun their fight. Others are celebrating decades cancer-free. It's devastating when you hear the big C word. Um, it's, it's tough with the support of the family and close friends. Oh my goodness, they were awesome. Relayers also took the time to remember those who lost their battle with cancer. But the thousands of dollars raised here at Cascade Falls means more days ahead for the ones still fighting. In Jackson, Riley Connell, News 10. Thanks, Riley. Jackson County Relay for Life organizers say this event remains one of the largest ranking in the top 20 relays worldwide.